ഗുരുഗണേഷാഭ്യാം നമ വി ആർ ഫെമിലിയർ വിത്ത് ദ ടെൻ അവതാരസ് ഓഫ് ശ്രീഹരി ഈച്ച് വൺ വാസ് ടേക്കൺ ടു അച്ചീവ് എ സർട്ടൻ പർപ്പസ് ഓർ പർപ്പസസ് ബട്ട് എമങ് ദം ടു രാമ ആൻഡ് കൃഷ്ണ ആർ ഓഫ് പർട്ടിക്കുലർ സിഗ്നിഫിക്കൻസ് ടു അസ് ഹ്യൂമൻസ് ഇൻ ദീസ് അവതാരസ് ദ ലോഡ് ഹാസ് റിവീൽഡ് സോ മെനി ആസ്പെക്ട്സ് അബൌട്ട് ഹിസ് ഗ്രേറ്റ്നസ് ഡിഫറെന്റ് ഡിഫറെന്റ് സൈറ്റ്സ് ഓഫ് ഹിസ് ഗ്രേറ്റ്നസ് understanding them telling them to others telling yourself about them again and again this itself is sufficient to solve all your problems worries anxieties fears disappointments if you just understand what they did even a part of it that will solve all your problems in life we saw earlier that his own gods at vaikuntha had taken births on earth as hiranyakashipu hiranyaksha ravana kumbhakarna and shishupala dantavakra as three series of births this much of experience on earth was required for them for elevation of their status the only reason someone takes birth on earth is to learn and progress it is like the only reason you go to school or college why do you go to school or college only to learn some students they forget this they get involved in politics they get distracted from their primary goal somebody gets into bad habits drinking smoking drugs unwanted company wasting time what happens to such students they fail they fail in school college and they fail in life the only reason you and i have taken birth on earth is to learn and progress learn what learn about truth what is all this about instead of that if we get distracted into day to day affairs thinking that to be the real purpose of life earning spending saving promotion name fame property security then these are like distractions how those children get into politics and drugs and what not if we do this we will also fail in the purpose of life you can earn spend give take as long as it is helping you in your curriculum the primary purpose of your birth that's why it is said dharma artha kama and moksha act righteously when you do that if wealth comes to you spend it judiciously for good purposes this is dharma artha and kama this will lead you to moksha the fourth and ultimate goal what is moksha moksha is to be in a state when you are perpetually in bliss happiness rather than the bits and pieces that you get through your sensory organs once in a while that makes me remember one advertisement the model actor in that ad film says with gold at home why are you going around borrowing begging to others you come to us it is a gold loan company the ad is about a gold loan company like that with the scope of achieving perpetual happiness unending happiness with the potential to achieve this why are we going to our sensory organs begging give me a little bit of pleasure so here bhagwan out of his kindness put us guards through a series of three births on earth so that they can refine themselves to a better state more perfection rama avatara is connected to ravana kumbhakarna before that it was hiranyakashipu hiranyaksha at the time of creation brahma ji created the first humans manu and shatarupa and told them to multiply but they asked multiply where it was water all around the earth had submerged into water brahma wondered what to do from his nose came out a varaha just the size of a thumb then the varaha started growing in size as big as a mountain and dived into the water on his tusk the lord as varaha lifted the earth and was coming back to the surface then hiranyaksha blocked his way the lord established the earth steadily on the surface of water and gave his own power as aadhar shakti to keep it stable there that is ananta adishesha then he took up on hiranyaksha this was the chance of hiranyaksha to observe the lord in action the enormity of his power then he had first hand experience fighting the lord directly himself to realize his power this was hiranyaksha's learning how the lord is keen about the stability and welfare of his creation to what extent he would go to protect it and his limitless power all this hiranyaksha learned then hiranyakashipu how far the lord will go to protect his devotees his omnipresence he can come to help you from anywhere even from a pillar he can come out to protect you nothing is impossible for him he can become a varaha he can come out of a pillar he can become half man half lion he can be harsh and kind at the same time the lord tore apart hiranyakashipu and at the same time took prahlada to his lap all these hiranyakashipu learned first stand another aspect of the lord he made prahlada famous prahlada is famous for his endurance 
in spite of the urge to protect his devotee he could have eliminated hiranyakashipu when he started torturing prahlada he didn't do it because he wanted to demonstrate prahlada's endurance to the world and make him famous where did he get this endurance from from bhakti from devotion same with sita devi also why did he allow agni pariksha to happen to demonstrate her purity to the world if he had avoided agni pariksha someone somewhere even today would raise a finger about her purity now nobody can we see this in politics an allegation comes there are two kinds of responses you welcome an investigation come out with a clean chit or subvert the demand for investigation you just refuse but then the suspicion never goes rama janamaha Shrek Adamang Karma Shrek Adamang Karma